what's up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking I'm truly truly grateful and if you're new here consider clicking the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey so guys today I'm bringing you another episode and today's episode is going to be all about um, servicing my uh, motorcycle for the second time so the first service was the 1000 kilometer uh, initial first service and uh, according to the motorcycles manual the next service is supposed to be at 12,000 kilometers but the dealership told me that I can come and do it um, when I hit 8,000 kilometers or what is a year after I did my last service and uh, it's exactly a year I did my last service towards the end of uh, March 2020 and we are right at the end of March 2020, 2021 so uh, it's been a year and I know I could probably because the Honda recommends Honda recommends 12,000 kilometers and I know I can run it a bit more but I like to keep my machines in good health so uh, I have decided to go and service it according to the, the dealership's um, recommendation uh, you know how it goes if they tell you something and you don't do it if a major problem happens they don't even want to attend to you but it's all good it's all good I, I, I would even prefer to do it earlier so I'm on my way there right now gonna take me about 25 minutes to get there and while I'm on the way there you can uh, take a look at my surrounding and see what I see when I'm riding uh, in Shanghai so I'll also just take this opportunity to talk a little bit about how this bike has performed since I got it about a little over a year ago um, and also after, after the first service so the summary of it all is it's it's an amazing bike I mean when I compare it to my old uh, Benelli 300 uh, TNT 300 this one is way 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 better I mean with the Benelli I used to change the oil and the filter every about 3,000 kilometers because after 3,000 kilometers it became really really difficult to change gear the gear lever and the clutch became so so hard especially when I stop at uh, traffic lights and the bike comes to a complete stop and you want to uh, <coughs> put the bike in neutral or engage gear to move ahead it was really really difficult it was hard um, and so even though it was recommended to do every 5,000 kilometers I just change oil every 3,000 kilometers and uh, that's smoothing things out a bit but the oil change for that bike was too regular so it was it was a bit bothersome and expensive to run that bike uh, but this one Honda recommends 12,000 kilometers which is which is a lot and from how I feel now I feel like the bike could could actually easily go to 12,000 kilometers before I change oil and filter and, 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 and check it but I just want to follow the instructions so that I uh, I don't have to deal with any major issues when something happens because anything can happen this service according to the service manual of the bike it's supposed to be inspection of a few things um, and uh, an oil change but I don't know if they are going to change the oil filter something I would want them to do but if they say it's not necessary hey they know their job but if the option is there I would want the oil filter to be changed so that I can have fresh oil and uh, fresh oil filter as well
there are certain roads that bikes can go on so if you're coming to China and you're planning to get a motorcycle you need to know that in advance that there are roads that you can use but a good thing is the GPS is that they run here are able to tell you which roads bikes cannot go on and all that so uh, you can do use those but I'm quite familiar with my surroundings so I don't use it that often I know where I'm going and I know where I can go and where I cannot so that's just something to know these trucks that water tankers that spray water on the roads to stop dust and other uh, particles in the air and if you just wash your bike it just messes up your bike I hope he stops so I can go ahead of him then I don't have to deal with all right it's a good chance I need to go ahead of him because once he starts moving, he's gonna start stealing again. I'm turning left now. I'm almost at Honda. Let's go get this service done. He's gonna make a U-turn here. And as you can see guys, I'm already at Honda. right now uh, I think Honda shares this building with um, Triumph and these are some Triumph bikes that's the Triumph showroom and there we are Honda here we come So I'm here now guys, Woo. service time. guys so the service is done and uh, I'm just leaving well, like I predicted it was just um, 
an oil change oil and filter change and I'm good for another year or 8,000 kilometers but the whole service cost me about 70 to 80 dollars uh, for the oil and filter change plus workmanship for a year I think that's a good deal so yeah, I'm good for another year uh, unless I go on a very long trip where I'll need to come and service again but other than that I'm good for now alright guys so that's it for uh, this episode I just wanted to bring you this video uh, to show you and to tell you what maintenance was done on my second service of the 2019 Honda CB500X so thank you so much for watching guys if you're new here do me a favor and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell so when I upload new videos you'll be notified and uh, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment and tell us what maintenance you have done recently on your Honda CB500X so thank you so much for watching once again so I see you in the next video guys, ride legal, ride safe, peace.